I get asked all the time, hey Josh, how do I get my first deal? A lot of times people are like, I don't have a lot of money, what's the best way to go get my first deal? So there's several different things you can do. You can post, post in Facebook groups, you can go uh, knock on doors, look for properties that look like they need work, look like they've been kind of, you know, haven't been touched in a while. Those are oftentimes gonna be good properties to make some money on, to wholesale out. Um, but door knocking, posting on Craigslist, bandit signs, and you can do homemade bandit signs and it'll work. Like we buy houses, little flyers, put them out. Okay, once you get your first deal, you're gonna do more paid stuff. But the one thing that you can do even before you have much of a budget is cold call. So there's different lists you can get. If you don't have much money or any money, then you're not gonna be able to get a paid list. So you gotta start with like something more, more broad or general. But if you can, you can scrape up, you know, oftentimes 50 or hundred dollars, you can buy a list. And now you can say, okay, I want people to own their house for 15 years or longer. that live in a different state that are 65 years and older. You don't have to use all those together. Although you can, you can interchange different filters. But my point being, you can actually narrow down your audience and who you think has equity in their home and could be a good deal. So get those lists, now you're gonna call them. Now, if you don't have a big list, you wanna actually just call that list manually because calling manually versus doing like ringless voicemail or cold calling on steroids is gonna get you the maximum amount of leads for your list. If you've got a small list, you've got time anyways, you wanna go as deep as possible. Physically call them all. If they don't answer, leave them a message. And this is what your message should say. Hi, this is Josh. I was just calling about your house. I don't know if you have any interest in selling it or not, but if you do, would you please call me? I'm looking for something I really wanna buy in that specific neighborhood. So you can just disregard this if you don't wanna sell, but if you do, or maybe in the future you're going to, or you know any neighbors that have any interest in selling, I'm just looking for an easy, simple deal. Cash, I'll be paying cash, it'll be as is, which means you don't need to do anything, and you can pick whatever move out date works best for you. Here's my number, give me a shout. Again, you don't need to call me back if you're not interested. Now what that's gonna do is people start, they won't call you back if they don't need to because you told them you don't need to call them back, that's why I was calling. But that local investor thing works really well. Now as soon as you have a little bit of money, look into doing cold calling on steroids and being able to send out mass calls. You can also use something called Mojo Triple Dialer. I think it's about $150 a month. Comes with the reverse search lookup tool. So now you can go buy a list or you could do your driving for dollars and make your own list. Go identify all those properties. That's a great list that everybody should be starting out with. In fact, I even do that. I still drive for dollars and write down addresses, even with paying tens of thousands of dollars for marketing every month, because there's so much gold in doing that. So you go out there, you get your list, and then if you call it on Mojo Triple Dialer, it's gonna be like 150 bucks for your subscription. You can do it, I think it might even be cheaper than that. Go to mojosells.com right now, you can, it's really easy. That will, what's awesome is it will, you can call three people at a time. So it'll call, it'll call you down your list, three numbers, and it'll ring them all for you. So you don't have to sit there, take your time pressing the buttons. You just take go. You upload your list, take go, and it'll call three at a time. Now, if two people answer at the same time, you can have it set up to say, oh, hey, ex sorry, my phone's not working. Let me call you right back. And as soon as you get off the phone with the other person, the dialer will automatically call that person. And you can say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with my phone. You can talk to them. Now, what's, this, is, this is the sweet spot. Remember when I talked about you're gonna be calling them all, and if you're calling them one by one, you're gonna leave that message. Well, it took me, what, 45 seconds or so to, to leave that message? So if you do use Mojo Triple Dialer, you could be having two voicemails being played, and you could be live talking to somebody, right? Well, it'll actually, it'll stop dialing, but let's say it's ringing three all right now, and I answer one, the other two, and the other two go to voicemail, they'll go to voicemail, and they'll pause until I get off the phone. But what's cool is, if let's say I'm not live, okay, one, one thing's calling, another one's calling, another one's leaving a voicemail. Now you have two leaving a voicemail at the same time while you're calling. So it's a lot of power. You don't have to sit there and take all that time leaving that 45 second message a hundred times. And so get out there, get that list, local list. This is where you really, the first place to start, get that local list and start calling it and start door knocking. Knock both sides of the neighbors too. Go knock the neighbors over here, go knock the neighbors over here, go knock the neighbor directly across the street, say, hey, do you know who owns this house? I'm interested in buying it, and that's gonna be gold. Now, as soon as you have $1,000, start doing the, uh, start buying more lists, doing more triple dialer, and that kind of thing. Now, up to $2,000, you're basically gonna be doing that. So, you know, $500, you're able to get your mojo, you're able to buy a list, and that's probably about it. You know, $1,000, $1,500, $2,000, now you're just buying more lists, doing more calling, using Mojo, Dialer, and you can actually even use cold calling on steroids with a budget if you've got 
you know, 1,000 to 2,000. Now, once you hit more than 2,000, you can get into direct mail, but it might cost you $3,000 in direct mail just to get a deal, to get enough leads to get a deal. So know that if you spend $3,000 in marketing, if that's your budget, I would recommend you spend $2,000 in cold calling, which can give you a ton of leads. Might be a little bit more work than the, uh, than the, the mail, direct mail, but you're definitely gonna get enough leads to get deals out of that. And then start, start mail. So if you've got 3,000, spend 2,000 on calling, 1,000 on mail, maybe you get a deal, maybe you don't, but you should get a deal every three months, roughly, by the numbers. And then you got another 1,000, now you're up to 4,000 a month budget, do 2,000 in, in mail, and then 3,000 in mail, and 4,000 in mail, and you can start scaling your direct mail budget. But I would recommend to everybody, spend at least your first 2,000 on cold calling, especially if you're just getting started, you're trying to get your first deal or your first deals because you gotta get really good at converting, knowing how to qualify, is this a deal? And then converting that to a deal, if it is, you're like, yes, this is a deal, converting it so that you're the, they choose to sell their house to you and you get the deal, not somebody else. So you wanna be able to have, and you're gonna get much cheaper cost per lead, again, by doing the, the cold calling and you get on direct mail. So never stop cold calling, like even at my level right now, I just do cold calling on steroids. Um, but I'm making, we'll make, we'll make, you know, tens of thousands of calls every single week and get tons of deals that way. It's our cheapest, um, cost per, cost per lead and cost per deal. So it's amazing. Um, go out and do that and then start scaling and let me know how I can help and let me know about your success. Look forward to seeing you in your journey.